Hello there guys and welcome back to another one of the reviews that we got going on here. So we just finished watching ReZero last night. Sorry about that. So we just finished watching ReZero last night. And my friends and a whole lot of people have been bugging me about this. They're like, yo dude, totally, you should watch it. You'll love it. It's a great show. Like, fucking phenomenal. Cried like a little bitch. And I was like, okay, yeah. And I just moved it to the top of my list to watch. And finally got around to watching it. And guys, it is a really great show. I definitely... Yeah, this is a definite one that is recommendation worthy this this 25 this 25 episode series was definitely a worth while time spent you know it's worth it go for it definitely i fucking enjoyed every episode of it so basically as a general synopsis you got this dude who's a gamer kind of neat character uh, that just stays inside all day and does that kind of shit. You know, he's a neat. They, they were almost, yeah, people should know what he is. So kind of a nobody, doesn't do much, weak kind of guy. So Saburu then gets transported into a, basically a fairy tale kingdom that he fucking loves. You know, he's, he's totally taking the aspect like, dude, this is just like a video game, magic powers, mystical creatures, and shit everywhere knights and roaming rpg basically and he totally is like this is awesome let's let's kill it you know like, like let's do it you know be be a new me go after it and basically he it takes a while but he realizes he has checkpoints so he will die and come back where his checkpoint was left last left off but he doesn't know where that he checkpoints at so that's the problem but it's usually a painful death that he has to go through and not only physically painful but psychologically too and just that factor is great i love how you see it progress and how it changes the characters and how everyone interacts with him differently and how he in interacts with people differently and how he has to handle it and understand what's going on and how he has to come to terms with all that and like holy shit man it is a thanker like you just gotta be like bah like holy shit man it's it's phenomenal guys it's really good definitely recommendation worthy i i don't know i for a while starting into this so starting into this i was like dude just tell them like you can, you, you can come back to life and i don't spoiler guys i don't i don't know the spoiler but for a while i was like watching this be like you dude you just you just gotta tell them like you can come back and you know relive shit you know you you know the future kind of and and when they finally, like, brought that up in the story, I was like, holy shit, like, good twist, I guess. I don't know, man. It was a fucking good twist. And, like, I I hate it, but I love it. You know, it's like, it's, I'm glad they put a solution to that because I was definitely questioning it. But it's like, oh, I would, it would be so much cooler if they, I don't know if cool's right word but it'd be it'd be very different if he was able to tell people but because he wasn't able to in the repercussions of him not being able to was great because it played a bigger role later in the uh anime and that was brilliant of them um and i heard that the i guess ending to this is uh pretty much a one-to-one -one comparison to the manga if i'm mistaken i might be i don't know i haven't read the manga i only got told this so this is this is coming from someone else and uh they told me but uh dude i've i've i'll tell you what I've, I've this one made me cry multiple times like during this like dude i am like sorry for saburu like holy shit my dude he is having a rough time and if you all seen this you know exactly what you mean during like when him and Amelia are like just, uh, he, he just had a rough day one day, you know, that's just, and then it just adds up and then like, 
he snaps, and then he... everything. I love the best quote. Or, I love this quote. It's like the definition of insanity. It's If you've played Far Cry 3, you've heard it. Because it's from... I, for, this is where I know it from. From Far Cry 3, the baddie goes, I, did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting this shit to change. That is crazy. And I love that quote because I feel like that does play a huge role into this. But he, Saburu has such a strong will that he wants to change and play something out different. Even if it's just a minor play different, that he is always trying to get the end result to be what he has like what he has in his mind like help out all of his friends he wants to protect everyone of course but like it's hard when the deck is stacked against you so he's playing so many hands trying to get the right one and it just it's one in a million and he finally i mean he gets it he gets it spoil spoiler he gets it but like holy shit man and i me and all my friends are like season two like Get here, man. Like, holy shit, this is fucking, mm, you know, Bene. So good. Um, so before moving into, I guess, any anything in particular, I do want to say that the waifu of the anime is definitely Rim. I love Rim. She fits into my, I guess, all my other big waifus, I guess. I don't know if you want to call them that, but, like, strong female characters that I also like. How about that one? You know, um, love Rim, fucking badass, and just fuck you, Saru. Like, damn, Saru, man. If ah, I understand why Saru is in obsessed with Milia, but damn, Rim, man, I, dude, he missed out. <laughs> you know, like shit, she's all there for him, and he's just like, I like you, but like, my heart's somewhere else. Ah. Breaks me, breaks me inside, but it's fine. It's fine. It worked out well. I I, I sent a text to my friend like, "Yo, Sabru over there getting it," and I'm just over here like, "Don't worry, Rim. I love you. <laughs> I got you." Moving into the spoil zone is that <laughs> for okay. Let's start with the last episode. With the last episode, I was just like expecting it to end so much earlier. Like when he's he found the bomb, eye contact with Amelia, he gets it, just splits. I was expecting it to end on him coming to, you know, that white screen, and him, just, over, just done. Just right there, you know, I was expecting that to be the finish. But, you know, it played out longer, and I, I personally felt a miss is maybe the right word, you know, like, wasn't right. I, I don't know. I, my vocabulary ain't too good. Coming from the backwoods here. Uh, no, I don't know if I'm using the right word for this, but it, it, it felt a little off just because I was expecting it to end and it kept going a little bit. Um, but besides that, the way they did end it, I really fucking liked it because he was able to finally be like, yo, dude, like, what's up, dude? Like, I love you. I love you, you know, just like, girl, like, get over here. I love, hmm. And I, I was happy with that. Really happy. The scene where he was, I guess, laying on Amelia's lap the first time in the room after he's had a long day. And he's just first trying to grasp his power. I guess it's power, his, his ability, his curse even. And he's just like, I just, it's so rough. Like, nobody understands and nobody can understand. I was just like, dude, like, I feel you, man. I feel you. Like, shit, man, it's rough out there. Like, damn, I, that, that moment, I was just like, wow, this is like getting, this anime really gets the viewer in on this. Like, holy shit. I, just between that middle C, that middle point where he's laying on our lap, in the end, besides the whole fight with Ram, not, yeah, besides that, those two middle and end points are like, holy shit, this show is worth, worth it, man, like, 
my god, definitely need to watch that. I'm very interested to see how the rest of this plays out just because the introduction of some of these characters and the big overall picture of like who finna gonna be like the king, you know? That's the whole picture here. And you don't necessarily get that idea until later into the series. Like, it's not really a spoiler, but like that's that seems to me what the goal is here is who's gonna become the ruler and uh so saburu wants amelia to be so he's gonna help her out but along the way just making friends you know and i feel like that was like 10 out of 10 you know everyone needs some friends so but like basically overall guys like the fight scenes good fight scenes were the fight scenes were pretty good I liked them, especially when when Rim fought. That one was really good, and w during the whale fight scene, that was that was only good because the swordsman and the wolf dude. I don't know the wolf dude's name, but yeah, but those were the, since they were the two powerhouses. That's the only reason it was good. Other than that, it was it was all right, you know. But I did I did like the way they did the swords and the the swooshies and. Dude, holy shit, they even, like, made connect with the old man. Even though we, like, barely knew anything about him. Like, that was still fucking really good. But, yeah, guys, that's, I guess, my splurge. I don't know how other how to say it, since this was just, like, a whole bunch of, like, excitement during this whole thing. And good feelings, overall good vibes coming from the show. Good vibes. You know what I mean. I loved it, but it was sad. But, uh... I hope, if you haven't watched it, please watch it. If you have watched it, dude, like, you know what I'm talking about. But, thank you all for watching this, and I will see you in the next one. All music used in this video uh, is from a YouTuber named Trial and Error. Uh, he has his own website and his YouTube it will be linked in the description down below. So, please go, if you're interested in the music, go check out him out on his youtube or his website his music is very anime themed so if you're interested in that definitely drop by his page